Hello guys, it's Castaway Trader and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is called Treasure Map for Trading ES Mini. The big idea of Elliott Wave theory is that markets keep playing the same fractals, again and again. Counting and labeling waves is just a tool. We count waves to identify what fractal is in play and then we track progression of that fractal. In this video I will show you that one correct conclusion about the structure which is in play becomes a solid foundation for a number of successful predictions and number of winning trades over the course of several weeks. This video is not about a particular trade or setup. This video is about a big idea of fractal forecasting. I will show you why fractal forecasting is a robust trading methodology and why you should use it in your trading and why you should start learning it today. Before we start, I would ask you to read that important disclaimer. Ok, just to remind you, this is my website www.castawaytrader.com and recently I added another section to my website called Nailed where you can see samples of my premium letters sent to my subscribers. If you click Market Analysis then Nailed, you will get thumbnails of the charts I sent to them. You can click any of them and you can get the, an access to full report sent to my subscribers at some point in the past. Ok, recently I got a nice letter from one of my subscribers. He said really enjoyed your service and want to make sure I'm an automatic renewal. Portfolio up 20% in 2 months. Thank you. Ken, thank you so much. It was my pleasure to serve you and I hope you will be able to do even better in the future, especially if you start learning my methodology by yourself and you will be able to trade even better. Ok, I always start with the big picture, because I will show you in this video that the understanding of the big picture creates directional bias for you. If the bias is up, if you understand that the market is moving up, it helps you to trade in the direction of the trend. If you understand that market is in a correctional mode, you will become more cautious in terms of buying dips and you will be looking for setups to short the market. This is the 5 wave up fractal started in 2009 and in my opinion we tapped in the strongest part of the rally last September 2018 and of that point of the top we got a quick but deep corrective move down in wave 4 which bottomed in December 2018 and of that point of the low of the mid December 2018 we got a nice looking 5 wave up rally which tapped in wave parenthesis A of 5. Many traditional Eliotitians still look at that rally as abnormal corrective move up in my opinion we are not right and when we promise the followers that of that point we would get even deeper drop than we got into the December low, we are wrong and the subscribers are going to lose money. Ok, let's come back to what we see in the school of harmonic Elliott wave theory here. Of the top made by that rally in wave A05, we were expected to get a corrective move down, A, B, C down. And the main purpose of that corrective move down of the top made on May 1st, 2019 was to convince bulls that the rally is over and to entice bears to add more shorts, because their shorts would be fuel for another rally in wave C of 5 to a new higher high to new all-time highs. This is where the market will finally top in that huge 5 wave up fractal of the low made in 2009. That was the top made on May 1st, 2019 in AS Mini and S&P 500 index and of the top made on May 1st, 2019 we got a corrective structure called double 3. 
it was ABC of wave W, ABC of wave X and ABC of wave Y. The problem was that that corrective structure was very shallow if to compare with the huge rally we got from December 2018 into May 1st 2019. And it was too quick. It was not enough to change sentiment in the market. And once we got ABC of 1 which failed to make a new higher high after a sequence of lower lows, it was a sign for me that we are going to get a continuation of that corrective move. And once we get double three corrective pattern, I expected that it would extend and it would convert into triple three. The difference is that it's a double three with another ABC down connected by corrective ABC up, which we label as XX. And the final ABC down, which is supposed to make two new lower lows in wave A in wave C is to be labeled as ZZ. Potentially that whole corrective structure started on May 1st 2019 into that low which we may get next week or maybe early June may become the whole corrective structure and may set up a stage for another rally targeting new higher highs. You can see that I correctly identified that structure on 9th of May 2019, almost two weeks ago. And of that point, I said to my subscribers that we are going to get another ABC down. I posted my previous video last Saturday and that was the very last chart in this video showing the position in that fractal as of the last Friday, 17th of May 2019. I was counting that progression of the last ABC down as a top of corrective wave 2 in that 5 wave down sequence of wave C, which would complete that whole corrective structure. On Thursday, May 9th, I posted to my subscribers a post called ES has set another bull's trap because I counted that last top which went into my red target box as wave XX and of that top I expected A down, B up and C down of the last wave ZZ of the triple three corrective structure. This is Saturday, May 18th. This is where we started last week. This is my update I posted on weekend. And I showed to my subscribers that that was XX, the top I found on Thursday, May 9th. And since then we got expected A down into my green target box. And then we got A, B and C. So I count them as W, X, Y corrective structure. And that was a corrective wave B into the red target box. It went higher than I expected. But despite that, I maintained my bearish bias. There was no any reason for me to change that expectation. Because I had the specific fractal in mind. That was my treasure map. I knew what price was going to do because two weeks ago I found the similarity between the tape and the textbook fractal and since then price kept following that fractal. According to that fractal, again, we needed to get another drop down to a new lower low in the final subway parenthesis C, which ideally should stretch under the low made by that parenthesis wave A that bottomed on May 12, 2019. Monday, May 20th, 8.45 am. As you can see, price dropped from 28.61.25 into 28.00. 37. And what I wrote is that this overnight drop looks like wave C of 3 down, but ideally should stretch to 28.25, 28.15 28 before a pullback in microwave 4 up. The ultimate destination for that wave C down is 27.95, 27.80. And that was the green box I provided to my subscribers because again I expected that wave C would be longer than that wave A and it should drop under the law established by the 
first leg down, in parentheses wave A down. Monday 10.16 am, we got a shallow pullback and again I said yes may extend lower to complete micro wave C of 3 down. 8.07 pm on Monday, as we can see we got a little bit higher and that dropped again but the S was unable to make an expected lower low. I put here critical resistance 2856 because I expected from here wave C down but unfortunately it made a higher high and at this point this is where fractal really helped me to navigate the markets because I kept maintaining bearish buys. I was convinced that we are working on that A down, B up and C down. And because I had that bearish bias, it helped me to correctly identify that ABC of the law not as the start of a new rally, but as just a dead can bounce, a pullback in wave 4 up. And this is what I wrote, yes, another bearish setup. This ABC of the 2833 law made this morning looks like a corrective wave 4 up. That implies a drop in wave 5 down at least to retest that morning low. And at 8.05 am Wednesday I wrote this, yes, the primary bearish scenario is in play. I have been talking about the triple three corrective pattern for a while and I kept telling you the corrective structure is incomplete. It is in need of one more drop down to complete that corrective triple three structure. This move down may have finally started. It should target a new lower low under 2800. At the same time I showed them a bigger picture. That was the top made in wave A of 5 on 1st May 2019. It looked like a nice bearish wedge. This is why we were prepared with my subscribers to the drop because we kept looking at that wedge and we kept expecting the drop. And then we got ABC of W, X, ABC of Y, at this point that could have been the low of the corrective move. The problem which, which signaled to me that it's not gonna happen is that first it was shallow, second it was quick and third look what happened next. We got A up, B down and C up. Not only that C up failed to make a higher high, but look at that B, that B, a corrective wave, dropped under the previous law. When it happened, it's a great signal, it's called so-called expanded flat corrective structure. Normally it happens when the underlying trend is so strong that even a corrective wave in direction of the main direction of the trend makes a new extreme price. And here we have a corrective move, underlying corrective move and the main direction here is down. And this is why a corrective wave B made a new lower low. That was a signal that the move down was strong and it has enough power to keep making new lower lows. That's why I counted the top as XX and I said to my subscribers that we have to be prepared for new lower lows to come. And the very, very first drop made that lower low, that was wave A, then we got a very strong move up. That was the first time when price pierced the previous top. And that is a good warning for bears that that direction may change soon. But it's not ready now to change because we need to get that final wave C down either targeting either that low or maybe even lower low. Let's zoom in now. By Wednesday morning we got an expected move up. But again look at that move up. Again it failed to make a new higher high. We got a sequence of lower lows here, there and there and we got move up with very questionable structure and it made a lower high. Again, because I maintained my bearish bias, I correctly identified it as the top of a corrective move up, which retraced 61.8% of the preceding drop, structured as ABC. 
and which is what I wrote, ES possible path to the target, which is a possible path to one more low target. That was the target, A of 3, B of 3, C of 3, 4 and 5. But again, sometimes it's very difficult to pinpoint the exact micro path. What really matters for trader is directional bias. So what is the prevailing direction of the move and what is the ultimate target? So the, uh, my ultimate target was under 2800. The prevailing directional bias was down. And if you know those two elements of prediction, then you can look for bearish setups, you can look for shorting setups. And that was one of them. It was morning of Wednesday and we were 28.54. And the price kept mandering the whole Wednesday. Look, it's 8.39 p.m. The bias was still down, we still, still expected the drop, and when such whipsaw happens, traditional traders start questioning the, the setup. They think, you know what, price had opportunity to drop, it didn't, so probably it indicates that bears are weak. And this is where wave analysis is of big help. It just does not react. To such whipsaw. So what matters in wave analysis? Whether price makes higher highs or lower lows, lower highs or higher lows. When we get such a whipsaw, it's just meaningless information for us. We just ignore it. As long as it stays here, we do not have any reason to change the count. We do not have any reasons to question the main scenario in play. We have correctly identified the fractal and we stay on our course. Market does not want to move, but it does not mean we need to react. We have the setup in place. We have a bearish setup because our bias is bearish and we have a sequence of lower lows and lower highs. We wait for a drop. And Thursday. 8.20 am and we have got the drop overnight. From 28.52 to 28.32 it dropped overnight. This is what I wrote to my subscribers, yes no bottom on site yet, yes keeps doing what we wanted it to do, keeps moving down. Again understanding the fractal which is in play helps us to protect ourselves from emotional decisions based on momentarily observations of the price. It looked like bears would not be able to do that unless we finally did that. 11.32 am Thursday price kept moving down, it dropped another 10 points. But I said to my subscribers that I expect V3 to extend lower to 28.08, 27.93. Again, what was the source of my conviction? The reason why I was so convicted because I had the treasure map. I had understanding of the fractal which was in play. I knew what was gonna happen because I correctly identified that fractal weeks ago and I meticulously kept playing that fractal, kept tracking every wave to stay in alignment with the fractal. At that point I provided to my subscribers that green target box. So we were at 2822.75 when I showed them that green target box from 2808.50 to 2794. What I showed them that it might be a bottom of microwave 3 and from here, from that green target box, we should get a pullback up in wave 4 up. Thursday, 2.49 pm and you can see that finally price is entering the green target box provided earlier that morning. And which is what I wrote, ES is dipping its toes into the green target box. Again, ideally ES is about to hit the target for wave 3 down. Because we expected over the top a 5 wave down move, that part of the move looked like the strongest part of decline. And of that bottom we expected a corrective move in wave 4 up. And the final push down making a new lower low into that second green target box. 
9.30 p.m. Thursday. This is what happened. Price dropped a little bit lower than 28.08.50 and then it started an expected pullback structured as A up, B down and C up. This is what I wrote to my subscribers. ES playing an expected corrective bounce in wave 4 up. ES keeps playing by the script. Exactly as I expected, we are getting a corrective rally in wave 4 up, structured as A up, B down, C up, targeting maybe 28.32. Then we should get the final decline in wave 5 down to a new lower low under 2800. That second target box, targeting that box because again that Wave C is supposed to get a bit stronger than the preceding first leg down and wave A and it is supposed to make a new lower low and the low made by that first leg down. At 10.02 pm on Thursday, the main topic for me was how to navigate my followers with regards to that corrective ABC move up and I suggested to look at retracement levels of the drop in wave 3. I gave them two numbers. Retracement FIP is 50%, 28, 38, 25, and sometimes it goes as deep as 61.8 retracement, 28, 46. We are dealing with the corrective rally in wave 4 up and we should get the final push down. And when you get the very final push down, you should not be very picky about the structure. You should not be looking for nailing the very bottom of it. Once it drops under the law of parenthesis wave A down, you have to be ready to cover all your shorts and to start building long position. because. Of the top we made on May 1st, 2019, that final push down would complete a triple three corrective structure. And from many letters I'm getting from my followers and subscribers, I see that finally that extended corrective structure managed to change sentiment, prevailing sentiment of the crowd. So now people start looking for new lower lows. Only two weeks ago, everybody told me that, you know, we're gonna get 2900 again in a matter of days. But now I get something different. Everybody tries to convince me that we are going to see 2500, 2700, 2200. Everybody comes up with its, his own crazy downside targets. And this is a great sign for me that we are very close to completion of that corrective move down. Finally, people change their directional bias. Now we do not longer look up, all of them look down. And I'm not talking about retail investors. I'm also talking about professional traders whom I respect. And this is exactly how normally corrections work. They change your directional bias. We make you forget about the prevailing marker trend, which is still up. And this is why we should be very cautious with that very final move down. 8.42 am on Friday, ES retraced 50% of the wave 3 down. It hit my target 28.38 because this is two targets I provided to my followers. 61.8% retracement of the drop down or 50% retracement of the drop down. 50% is much more common than 61.8%. We got A up, B down, C up, a textbook looking corrective wave 4 up. At that point, at 8.42 am, we were at 28.31.25. 10.32, we dropped under that nice looking uh, channel. By the way, those channels are drawn by my algo and this is like an objective channel and once it dropped under it, it's a great sign that that wave is completed. ES played out an ABC pullback up into 50% retracement of the preceding drop in wave 3 down. I'm talking about the drop of that top into that bottom. This break of the up looking channel is a good sign for bears. And unfortunately, we did not get a straight drop to that low. Normally, wave 5 is structured as A down, B up, and C down, but we kept Mandarin again. 
Again, we have here a sequence of lower highs and lower lows. And we still maintain bearish bias, we still have that green target box starting from 27.94 up to 27.81 and we keep waiting for that final pushdown in wave 5 of parenthesis C of ZZ which might be the bottom of a large corrective wave B down. Again, I want to show you the bigger picture. This is the top we made on 1st of May 2019. That was a rally in wave A of 5. And the triple three corrective structure, which is composed of three ABCs. ABC, 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 connected by two corrective waves X and double X. And now we are here. We should get that final push down. It could be smaller than like this one long one. What is really important is that that push down should drive the price a little bit lower than that low. Because that low was lower than that low. And that could be the completion of that whole corrective pattern, which lasted always a almost a month. And from here we would get a nice stage setup for another rally. Again, we are looking at triple three structure. Now we are zooming into 90 minute chart. I've just shown you the model and this is the actual chart ABC of X, ABC of Y, A, B and the final C. This is where I wanted to get completed under 2800. And this is another good tool I strongly recommend you to use, it's called channeling, I'm using regression channels. You can see that upper and lower bounds of the channel controlled so many spikes up and down. Another interesting point is that you can compare slopes of the first move down with the second move down. This is why triple three corrective structure is called a corrective correction through time. It does not deliver you a deep corrective move, but it burns time. And the longer, the more time it burns, the less bulls get convinced about a continuation of the move up. And it sets up a bear's trap because bears keep looking at that and we see that move down, which is not very strong, but we think that Bulls finally drop the ball, we are not able to move the move prices up because we saw a sequence of lower lows and lower highs. But if you look at the slope, you see that the second leg down is even weaker than the first one. If we can look at the slope, it's not as steep as the first decline. Again, this is Saturday, May 25th, I still maintain bearish bias, I still want to get another push down. We can get another tricky wave B up, it could be A down and we can get A, B, C of B and that micro C of B may push price up to the upper boundary of the channel, but it doesn't have to. We can get another drop on Sunday evening or we can get a we can get a push a little bit higher. What really matters is whether your fractal has been played out and what is the directional bias judged by that fractal. You have 6 last days of low prices. Initially when I offered my service I came up with very low prices, much lower than all my competitors offer in the market. Currently you can get my monthly subscription for micro accounts of the US indices, bottom in value stocks or micro accounts of crude oil and natural gas for only $24.99. This is a super low rate. Several of my competitors have $75, $99, $170 and one of them has $250 rate per month. I won't be able to offer you that service for $25. It just doesn't make sense for me. That was an introductory rate to make you familiar with my methodology, to show you how it can help you in your trading. And all my early subscribers would always be able to use special discounts. 
This is the pricing which will be enacted on 1st June 2019. Micro accounts of the US indices would be $49.99 per month, micro accounts of crude oil and natural gas would be $29.99 and bottom in value stocks will still be $24.99. So you have 6 days to subscribe and save. Stay on the path to mastery. This video was supposed to show you how harmonic Elliott wave theory can be used in your trading, how it can help you to improve your trading results and keep you confident despite what's happening in the market. Thank you for your time. Please like this video. Please keep me inspired and motivated to post more videos like that. Thank you so much and have a great long weekend.